But when we say VLAN in this course, we're going to say IEEE 802.11 networks. This IEEE 802.11 is the standard name for the wireless network. This is the protocol that we are using. IEEE stands for, by the way, anybody? IEEE stands for Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. This is, these guys are the major guys who develop the standards for computer networks. One of the major guys, I should say. The other one is ITU, International Telecommunication Union. Okay, so these guys are the guys who are creating the standards okay, for those kind of environments. Okay, so let's have a look a little bit details of this 802.11 guys. Okay, so what is the structure of this kind of uh, networks? These networks will have an access point. We call it AP. You guys call it wireless router. Okay, this wireless router or AP is the access point to the wired network. Okay, to the wired network, which has more capacity. Maybe it, is, it has a higher speed. Okay. So any entity that has station functionality and provides access to distribution system, generally this distribution system is a wired network, okay, a wired network, with the wireless medium for associated stations. So that some stations will use that AP, okay, that AP. And we're going to have basic service set. In basic service set, what we're going to have is one AP and a bunch of stations, a bunch of wireless laptops, let's put it that way. One router, okay? Imagine your home. Your husband has a uh, the laptop. Your wife has a laptop. Your kids have a, has a laptop. Or you have one desktop, okay, as well, okay? All of them are connected to one AP. That is wireless router, which is connected to, let's say, Comcast uh, cable network for internet access. Now you have a basic service set. One AP and bunch of terminals, okay, bunch of wireless equipment. All right, then. distribution system is the Comcast cable network, for example, okay, the actual network. But if you are using AT&T wireless, for example, hey, that's going to be AT&T distribution system. Okay. And <clears throat> Google is proposing uh, free internet access to every city in the U.S. Okay, they are going to put the routers, wireless routers, and you don't have to pay anything for the internet access. When you are sitting at your home, you will have access to that internet. Okay? But unfortunately, the, 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 the city councils are not approving that, that, that proposal uh, because a lot of companies are making still money from that, the, that those subscription fees for internet. But in, in the future, that's going to be free, believe me. Okay? They are pushing it that way. Okay, pushing it that way. An extended service set, if you have more than one BSS, basic service set, you have extended service set. So in other words, we have BSS, a lot of BSS, and they're all going into a distribution system. And that distribution system most probably is go to a portal, which, is to the, which goes to the internet. Okay? So if that is the case, this whole thing is going to be called extended service set. And the MAC protocol that we are using for wireless is called MPDU. This is IEEE 802.11, by the way. IEEE 802.11 defines this MAC protocol. Okay. Defines this MAC protocol. And MAC service data unit is the data unit for that MAC and the stations, whatever the stations that you are using for wireless access. This could be iPads, iPhones, or laptops, even your desktops. Okay? or personal PDA, so on and so forth. So this is the terminology that we're going to use. So what I'm saying is this. You see one AP here, and a bunch of stations, they are sharing one AP to go to the distribution system. This is called basic service sets, okay? Another basic service set. All of them are connected to the distribution system. Imagine Comcast cable network, okay? This is one house, this is another house, or maybe this is one neighborhood and this is another neighborhood, okay? But generally this is one house, okay, with this router. It goes to Comcast network, and then that goes to LAN, or the internet access, with the portal like the plate, or 2.x. What does the x mean over here? 802.3, for example, what is 802.3? 
Ethernet, wired network. Eleven is the wireless. Okay, is the wireless. All right. So it is in the same family, 802 family. Okay, 802 family. So an infrastructure basis is a basic service set used when bridging a wireless LAN to a wired LAN. This distributed system most probably is a wired LAN. Okay, wired LAN. The other type of BSS is an ad hoc. You guys are not very familiar with this ad hoc. Okay? But when you go and check your uh, laptop, uh, the, the wireless modem settings, you will see two settings. One is IEEE 802.11 setting, and the other one is ad hoc. In ad hoc, what we are doing is we don't have AP anymore. Okay? These stations are going to talk directly with each other, directly without using any AP. But in basic service set, if this station two wants to talk to station four, information goes via AP. It doesn't go directly from station two to station four. But if it is ad hoc, okay, it's gonna go from station two to station four directly. We don't need wireless router. Wireless modems that we have is gonna be enough to transmit any messages from each other. That's another network type, wireless network type. Um, they are still using 802.11 MAC protocol. Okay, MAC is the same, but we're gonna spend a huge amount of time for that one for the security. Okay? And imagine the implications of that kind of network. You don't need these cables. You don't need any management, any administration. You don't have to open an account or something. You don't need a password or something like that. Okay? When you turn on your computer, voila, you are in the network. When you turn off your computer, you are out of the network. That's it. It is very simple, very effective, okay, and very good network type. But the only problem is security, okay? Because if the station two does not see station four to send the message, this guy, station three or station one, is gonna be the router for these guys, okay? So how do you trust these guys, right? You don't know those guys. They just appeared in the network, and now they are going to forward your packet or data to the other side. Okay. How are you going to define the security over there? It's going to be a big, big deal for us. Okay, so that is ad hoc. We're going to spend, as I said, a huge amount of time for those ad hoc networks. Right now, you have to know that you, you have two different types of 802.11 network. One is basic set, BSS. Okay. The other one is... Ad hoc. Okay. I mean, ad hoc is also BSS, okay? but different type of network. You don't need any administration for that. Then it is dynamic, no topology, self organized, that's very important, self organized network. Okay? And the peer to peer communication is used for the ad hoc networks. Okay. For the ad hoc networks. okay. What else? When deployments, VLAN deployments. VLAN is going to be deployed something like this. Most probably you have satellite networks, fiber optic cables, or, or wireless phone networks to gain access to the to, to, to internet, for example. There could be a lot of different deployments. Wired network, fiber optic based networks, satellite networks, your cell phone networks, they are all used for distributed systems. Okay, all used for students. Or backbone by fiber or wireless links to internet, as I said. Okay? And these VLANs are going to support hands off to other overlapping wireless networks in the cells. If you move to the cell or if you, if you put a little bit of mobility in it, in other words, because we are, we are just saying this is wireless. We didn't say this is mobile wireless. Because when you put mobility, there is another question as far as security is concerned. Okay? But if there is a mobility, if there is overlapping for the coverage areas, there, is, there are hands-off management is possible. So that when I move from this side to this side, this guy is going to handle my phone call or my connection. Okay? So I'm not going to lose anything, basically, like you're in your cell phones. Right? Well, sometimes you do drop the call, or they do drop the call, but hey, sometimes the system is not working properly. That's the reason. If something happens, they drop the call. Okay?